Oh, I thought I'd upload a quick video showing you guys how to make use of a 50s three-phase EL Midget King chain hoist in a single-phase shop. Um, we originally got this thing set up. Uh, we had it hooked up to an RPC, and that kind of got old, having to power that up every time you wanted to use it. Um, plus, you didn't have any finesse with the controls. Um, which is kind of a problem when you're moving bigger parts. Uh, it's kind of jerky. So I opted to get rid of that and put a VFD on. Um, I guess all we're doing here, it's not groundbreaking or difficult or anything. It's uh, pretty simple and cheap. Uh, so to get this wired up, um, all I had to do was wire the motor directly to the output of the drive. And to control it, um, I didn't want to buy a pendant, so I opted to reuse the motor switch that was already on here. And all you need is a three-wire sensor cable. Um, the three wires here are black, they're forward, blue is reverse, and brown is our 24 volts uh, that is from the drive to control its inputs. Um, once you get this all wired up, you can set the acceleration as fast or as slow as you want. I guess within reason, based on what kind of loads you're moving, but um, that allows us to have a little bit more control if you're trying to place something in a specific location without jerking around. Um, so I got a load on it, I just put the cover back on here and can run it up and down a little bit. If I can get it on here. So I think I have the acceleration, I don't know if it's five or six seconds right now. Um, so we'll take it up. And back down. And since we're placing parts, I have no deceleration, just a coast to stop. So that way it stops wherever you, when you let go of the switch. So, uh, you can check out the link in the description. I do have a uh, write-up on that um, in the practical machinist form. Uh, to kind of lay it out a little bit better, a little more detail. Um, like I said, it's pretty simple, and hopefully give you guys some ideas next time you're at an auction. You can pick one up cheap. Um, they're still usable. Like I said, everything's original. Um, I haven't had to do anything to it, so I think that's pretty impressive. Um, besides that, that's pretty much it.